guys welcome back to joy his kitchen where you find peace peace leads to joy joy leads to love and love leads to happiness it is a wonderful beautiful day guys to be with you in the presence of god to give him thanks to give him praise to give him glory and to give him hannah and guys i'm gonna make you a drink or water i would say a water car i don't sweeten it or anything but you can sweeten it when you when you want to but i just soak it and i drink it and it's tambourine water guys so let me show you my tambourine guys this is a tambourine that we that i'm using to make the tambourine water and this is a tambourine we get back in the caribbean and when we were there guys we used tambourine to make tambourine drink tambourine ball and tambourine stew and so forth and a lot of us do not really know the benefit of these fruit that we were eating when we were younger we just get up and we eat them because we have it plenty and tambourine guys we eat it sometimes sometimes we don't eat it most of the time they drop off the tree and so forth but it's a tree that i never see die it's a tree that lived for long 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 time i never see a tambourine tree die before i don't know if anybody see a tambourine tree die but i never see one growing up as a child you know and guys this tambourine drink is so healthy it's so nutritious for us guys and this tambourine drinks help you to lose weight so if you're having problem with losing weight this help you it's good for your nerves function it's maintain blood pressure promote guys it's good for blood pressure it's helpful it's good for your high sight too guys it's purify your blood it's good for diabetes it's good for your skin it's good for your heart guys we come on we have all these natural stuff that god put here for us and we are not utilizing them guys we are not utilizing them guys so guys i'm gonna show you how i make my um tambourine water that i have to drink daily or you know on a daily basis guys or every other week and so forth so it's very simple and it's very easy guys so let me show you how i shell my tambourine okay guys this is my tambourine do you remember all the way in the caribbean get this tambourine when you're a child and you eat it and so forth um i buy this pack of tambourine is for two dollars and 99 cent guys it's like three dollars and this one is three dollars and 39 cents for this one i already used out some out of it so i'm going to show you i think i might just use this alone for today and put back this and guys for people who know in the area that I live, I got this tambourine at Sea Town, and these are the tambourine that we got back home. We used to get back home, and they are so good and healthy for us guys. So I'm gonna take you to the process and show you how we shell our tambourine. For people who know how to shell tambourine, I'll show you guys and for people who out there who do not know how to shell tambourine i'm going to show you so bear with me for all the people them out there who know how to shell tambourine car people who know myself oh you shelling tambourine you're teaching people how to shell tambourine so this is it guys and sometimes like this now it's kind of dry because you know we don't get them fresh 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 so sometimes the skin like this one now will be hard to come off so if you want what i do sometimes guys i take my time and i pick it like that or uh, sometimes i leave it i just wash it off and leave it like that guys and leave it to soak right because sometimes it depends we don't get the fresh one like we get back home where you just drop off the tree and you can just pick it off like that this they are fresh but you know they stay a long time and they get dry and everything guys so this is a tambourine we get back home normally when we have our tambourine back home you only be dry like this when you pick the tambourine you will eat it out but this is very dry but when you soak it you get the water and it come back very very soft guys and you still get the health benefit and the nutrients from it same way so 
I'm going to soak it. I have some distilled water here. That's the water I use. You can use the water of your choice, but I use distilled water. So when I finish, I'm going to wash these off. And because of the shell on it, I'm going to wash it off and then soak it in some distilled water. When I soak it, guys, I'm going to show you what it look like. Normally, I do it overnight. And when you soak it, you leave it in the, in your fridge and stay for days, guys. When you're ready, you just pour your glass out and you drink. You can drink one glass of it every single morning, guys. As I said, it's good for cancer. It's good for your heart. It's good for if you're a diabetic, if you want to lose weight and all those things, guys. So we have these things that is so healthy and so nutritious there. We do not want to utilize them. We don't want to eat them and so forth. Yes, tambourine is sour. They have the sweet tambourine that you get in the supermarket here to buy. But these are the sour tambourine that we grow upon. Now you can see how dry it is, guys. You can see how dry it is. But when you soak it, it's a different thing. So this is how I pick my tambourine. And I'm going to wash it and show you how. And guys, if it's your first time coming across my channel, thank you very much for watching. Guys, please subscribe. Please to share, like, share, and leave your comments. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. And for all my YouTube, uh, my subscriber out there, I thank you, my new subscriber i thank you very much guys to subscribe to my channel i couldn't do this without you guys so thank you very much i really appreciate it i love you and thank you thank you thank you thank you very much from the bottom of my heart i thank you and i really appreciate it so okay this now i'm gonna wash this off rinse it off guys and come back to you Okay, guys, back to you. And I said the only reason why I rinse this off or wash it off is because of the shell in it. And I'm going to put it in the water for me to drink. Otherwise, I wouldn't. And because they are so well dry. So if you get the one in the Caribbean where you don't shell it off like that, no shell leave back, it's very easy to come off. It's not dry like this. You don't have to wash it off. So I'm going to put them inside my drink here. As you can see put it inside here and I'm gonna pour my water in it and I'm gonna let them stay there for a while for them to soak in guys and when it's soaking I'm gonna show you the finishing part of it and you can do this guys and you can leave this in your fridge for days just like that you put it and you leave it in your fridge and there you get your natural tambourine water. So I'm going to leave this and let it soak. And then I return back to you guys. Okay guys. We are back now with our tambourine water. As you see. And as you see how I show it is like that. So guys let me show you something now. All I'm going to do is take off the cover. And I'm going to stir it up like this. You can put it in your blender if you want to, if you want to, or you can use a cake mix oh, anyway, thing to just get off the pulp or for the, um, the seed. But for me, I do it like this. And if you want, you can use your hand, wash your hand thoroughly, and you can, um, you can take off whatever is on the seed. Okay, guys, so this water is ready to drink. Uh, you can, you can, guys, um, put it in your fridge when you're ready. Um, you can strain it if you want to. Okay, if you put it in your blender, all of this, let me show you something, guys. Like this, I show you. You can rub it like this, and all of that will come off if you want to, okay? You can do all of that. I'll leave it to soak some more. I remember it was dry, right? So all of this is a tambourine right here. Okay? So that's how you get it.
I'm gonna put it back inside here because it belongs to me and I'm the one who <laughs> to So I'm not gonna throw it away guys. So I'm gonna let it put it in my fridge. Yes, it's sour. And that's why I said if you want to sweeten it, you can sweeten it with whatever sweetener you want to sweeten it with. But for me, I just drink it like this. It's a water for me, so I drink it like this. And then I put in the rest of it into my fridge. And that's it. That's a glass of tambourine water right there, guys. It don't really cost nothing or anything like that right and it's very healthy and very nutritious for you okay guys this is my tambourine water so as i said i do not put any sugar in it i just drink it like this because it's very refreshing mm. Mm. you can use it with a straw or you can drink it just like that it has a little sour refreshing taste for me it's very refreshing for me when you try it i don't know you are gonna taste for you because everybody taste bud is different and i'm accustomed to drinking it so you can tell me what you think and as i said it's very healthy it's very nutritious for our body so guys as i said welcome to joy e kitchen where you find peace Peace lead to joy, joy lead to love, and love lead to happiness. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Guys, have a wonderful, beautiful day out there. Until I meet you back in my kitchen another day, another time. Peace, love, joy, and happiness.